this story I've actually told to you off air. Oh, good. Um, but never told on air. Now, now, and it's in the vein of I, I thought about it when I saw the woman, the women's, uh, the, the 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 day, the black women's, um, appreciation payday. I was, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I don't know the name of it. Today is the first day I heard it even existed, so you can't fucking tie me to a cross. And here we are putting it in the show immediately. That's it, man. That's what we do. We love our black women. Yes, we do. So, um, <laughs> this this actually stems from a time I was at, I was working at Rollins, man. I was working at Rollins. And um, I was working, I, in, in my opinion, it was a shit job, man. It was a shit job, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? So I'm working this job, and I'm there for a total of all, roughly nine years. That has almost like Shawshank Redemption vibes. <laughs> <laughs> roughly nine years I'm working at this place. Man. Wait a minute. You I know, I know. Wallace for nine but the years? First, the first three to four years... I was, um, it was a summer temp, first three years summer temp, but I count that. That's I'm still a long summer. time, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a nine long time. years, man. And I make my way up. I'm a summer temp. Then I go to a full time employee. Then I go to like a, a supervisory role. So I'm moving up. And, um, and the job is, 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 you know, it's not a good job. We're underpaid, we're overworked. And I got these team of guys, and we're going, we're doing shit like, you know, we're doing events and uh, office moves. So, and Rollins is an older campus, so 90% of their buildings just have stairs and no fucking elevators. <laughs> so we have to move these big fucking billion pound tables and, and desk, and I'm dead ass serious, and we have to bring them up and down stairs. We're moving this physically, like with our hands and legs. And, um, and sometimes we're doing like- No dollies? Huh? No dollies. Well, it's hard when you got these steep ass stairs. You don't okay. want to do dollies, and and if the desk is you know whatever odd shaped. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, we're doing that day in day out, underwork, oh um, overworked, overworked, underpaid. underpaid. All right. So we rolling, we rolling. My manager, um, at the time. He does some, you know, some, you know, he's, he's, he's doing, taking a full advantage of his, of his job. He has things like he's taking the work trucks and he's fucking uh, probably moving people and probably getting paid for it. He's, he's fucking like moving people off campus. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a lot of stuff that he's not supposed to be doing with his job and with his, with the keys. Cause he has the keys to the entire campus. He's the, you know, whatever at the time he gets canned. All right. Imagine that. <laughs> My manager gets canned. Now, I I I'm also at the time I was doing little stuff, but my stuff was very little. Like I would I had the keys to the whole place, so you know, sometimes I'll connect with our guy one and I'll get the gym because I had the keys to the gym okay. all the time, twenty four hours a day. So I'll do that. I got caught one time, but you know, it's just a little stuff. So you'd on be, the let list. people into the gym to hoop it up or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. that's the Lord's work. <laughs> There's nothing wrong there. <laughs> And, um, um, you know, doing different things like that. Now, my manager gets canned. I'm automatically thinking, it's, it's my I'm turn. the guy. I've been here for. Uh, I'm the chosen for, one. Yeah, I've been here for eight, nine years now. Head coach in waiting. <laughs> yeah. And at the time, I had, you know, I had graduated from Bethune. So like, when, you're, when, the prior, when the guy got fired, were you, like, immediately excited? Not really. Not really. Here he comes the guy. moment. Here come the man. You gotta think about it. If he's doing yeah. all of that on his own, like he gave me full fucking reign. And right, right, right. So right. now I'm thinking, I'm, I'm both. I'm like, damn, I had the opportunity, but also if another person gets this job, I'm fucking screwed. Oh, okay. I'm taking two hour breaks. I'm fucking doing anything I want to do too. Okay. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he's not gonna. I'm like, hey, you're not gonna tell me anything. But anyway, <laughs> so at the time, I've already graduated Bethune. But I have gave up my dream of being a fucking, like, sports analyst, Stephen A. Smith guy. Cause, because being that guy, starting out, the pay is so low, you know? Because I was working with the Orlando Sentinel um, when I first graduated from Bethune. And they were giving me, like, fucking $30 a story. And that's just not going to pay any bills. A lot of those guys, when they started out in the sports and this business, they still staying with their family. Uh, shout out to Jamil Hill. That was my fucking, like, hero growing up. And she was staying with her family when she was working, you know, starting out. So that's just how it goes. You know, you, you can't sustain. So I got out of that. 
And I'm like, okay, I really have no plan at this time. Yeah. I have no plan. And if I you were making thirty dollars a story, they're probably paying her seventeen fifty. <laughs> oh, because of the <laughs> black woman disparity. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm here. I'm at I'm at where I was working a shit job with no plan. Right. Yes. Now, the good thing about working a shit job though is I'm able. They the only good thing about it is I'm able to go back to school get my master's degree. And not have to pay for it. Okay. Right? I only thing I had to do was pay the taxes on it. And didn't even have to do that because I wrote this elaborate fucking story about my life. And, you know, rich white people just eat that shit up. <laughs> poor black people. They, just, they probably were shedding tears and shit. And I'm a good writer, so I threw extra shit in there. I was little. broke the code. Do you still have a copy of the manuscript? <laughs> I think I might do, man. You should this distribute it to somewhere. other people online. So they can use yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All black people were going to Rollins, hit me up, or to, uh, uh, or to PWIs, predominantly white I was going to say, stay out of Rollins. No, no predominantly other, white Other PWIs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, predominantly white Unless the administration's changed at Rollins. You don't want to... <laughs> Boy, this looks real familiar. <laughs> this looks Sounds real familiar. just like a story about 10 years ago. <laughs> so I'm there with no plan, but I'm going back to school to get, uh, to, 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 um, get my master's degree. I get my master's degree the same time my manager gets canned. Oh. So now I'm at this place. I've been working there for for nine years. I have a master's degree. There's no fucking way I don't get this job. Right? So time goes, and um, there's a guy who he's uh, same level as me, but he's working and he just works in a, whatever different department. But he's the same level. We're same. We, he okay. has people under him. I have people under me. And we, you know, and we're. I find out he's going for the job too. So we're both vying for this job. Uh -oh. The difference is this guy just got here six months ago. Oh, really? Okay. All right. And he's he's a Hispanic guy. A lot of the people that work for us is Hispanic. Okay. Okay. But I've been working with these Hispanic people for nine fucking years. I know these people. They know me. They're like my fucking uncles and aunties. All right. So you know. I don't even get a fucking interview. Really? I don't even get an interview for this role. So you you put your hat in the ring and apply. Yes. No, nothing. They just don't even call you. They don't even call me. The director, he looks the other way when I walk past. <laughs> oh. I've never, never been more pissed in my fucking life. Really? I'm okay. I'm at the top level a bubble can be pissed, pissed that I could possibly be. Even more so than Ben Simmons. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Much, I'm shocked. Much, much, much more. I'm shocked. I always hate when this does this. I think I'm clicking something wrong. And, um, yes. Okay. So, what happens is, I fucking, <laughs> I just do all, t I, I, on a professional sense of terms, I say I got two ways to do this, right? I can fucking... Do it the the hood black way and just fucking go upstairs and just cuss everybody the fuck out and go the fuck out because I've been for nine years working a shit job and now a good opportunity comes up. You motherfuckers don't even look to interview me and just fucking go out on top and get fired that way. I could do that. Or I could do it the way I know how to do and I do it. I'm fucking writing letters to the, the president of the college. I write a letter to fucking HR. I'm going up to HR. I'm like, hey, I'm the only black motherfucker. Not, I just say it exactly like that. But we're not interviewing black people for this job. Is that what we're not doing? And you got to think about it. this. Is Rollins is a predominantly white institution. First, you, you, you mention that. I've got Ben. Red, I've got Ben Crump on speed dial. <laughs> red alarms go off. <laughs> we got a bad black man saying he's not getting. You know, he, he, he's calling racism. So I got that going. And, you know, so I got the letter to the president going. I got a letter to HR going. I'm meeting with HR. I don't even go go to my directors. I'm just I'm trying to over bypass him. Bypass him. You know, and um, my my uh, uh, it's another manager that's there. He's kind of always he's an older black guy. He's always trying to calm me down. <laughs> Shout out my guy Lester. And, you know, we're talking every day. He's like, yo, you don't even want this fucking job. You don't <laughs> want it. Stay away. What are you doing? You just graduated. You got your master's. You don't want this. Why do you want this? And it's the principle. I've been here for fucking nine years. Why are they not even going to interview me? <laughs> director, director, um, let's Lester know. Like, hey, can you bring him up? Uh, uh, tell him to come up, whatever, at this X time. 
So I go in there and he's like, he's like, man, you know, so I, you know, of course I've heard that, you know, you went to um, <laughs> president so-and-so at the time and HR and uh, that you, you know, you really want this position. And I said, yeah, you know, I've been here for nine years and um, this is not this and that. He said, well, you know, I felt that this uh, this guy was the other the other supervisor okay. at the time. Chris, I'll just fucking say his name. And um, I felt like he was a better fit for his role because he's Hispanic and a lot of our associates, are, a lot of our workers are Hispanic. Okay. And I say and, and I say, I said, well, uh, I said, well, uh, do you know if I can speak Spanish or not? Say, no, I do not know. Well, I say, well, you're going to hire someone? Would I even? That's the point of uh, the uh, interview. interview. Knowing what I'm capable of. You should have just carried on a response to Spanish. (laughs) You should have just went complete Spanish the rest of the way. And I say, well, I say, and and also, I've been working with these people for nine, these exact people. We haven't, like, these people don't change. Like, those people are still there. Right, right. right. <laughs> like, they're, like, You're the only one that's moved on. <laughs> like, these people don't change. These are the same people that have been for nine years. I've been carrying on conversations for nine years with these exact same people. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I have that tone with them because I'm, I'm, I'm like fucking say, yeah. up to here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and he's like, well, you know, just calm down. Um, you know, <laughs> and can you open my door, please? <laughs> you know, like, I'm not going to hit you, man. I just want to know why do I not even get an interview? I say, did, did you not want a black person in this role? And um, you know, he basically already said he didn't. <laughs> I mean, he wanted, I mean, he did. Yeah. He said, I, I preferred a better fit with a Spanish guy. Yeah. And That's, he told you that. But, so you know, whatever he hires, he hires Chris. Basically, just disregards my entire meeting. But he had already hired him. Yeah. yeah so there's you nothing know, you can do now. Nothing I could do. Uh, nothing could be done by then. And, and you know, and Chris and <laughs> I, I'm fucking heated. So at the time, I feel like it's fucking. He's like you know throwing little jabs at me or whatever. But he's the Chris guy. Yeah, the Chris okay. guy. And he's like, you know, I, you know, he's just saying little shit like, oh, you know, uh, uh, you didn't get it, did you? But and this was before it was announced. Like you, you but he knew he know got, you it. got it. Oh, that's that's petty. You know, that's he, petty. He, you know, he, he, uh, the, the 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 next week he comes in, he got a brand new car. It's just a lot of different other shit. He's he's um he takes one of my guys that was on my team, and he makes him a supervisor on his team. It's different shit, and um. And that, and then and so I at the time I'm at the upper upper level. We're still doing the show at the time. We're yeah, doing yeah. The show in the radio. That's what it and um, my cousin calls from Atlanta, and that's when that whole Atlanta thing sprung about. Okay. And um, I just like I said, I fucking left everything right then and there. That same that day that he called. Yeah. I left. Didn't give a fucking notice. Just no. I shit. left my house. I like I said, my apartment that I had. I didn't fucking care how long I had. <laughs> just that, out. I was just fucking out. That's hey, funny. Hey, Pink, I got to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to end the show next week. That's funny. And that was it, man. But, and it was the best thing that ever happened to me because if I get in that job, now that goes to show you how underpaid I was because that job was paying like 45000 a year. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was my fucking dream. That was it. Yeah. That was it for me. Yeah. And, you know, I go on a couple of years later to make, you know, whatever, my first six figure year. And it's like, if I'm stuck in that job, it's no, you, you know. You might be at 48 right now. <laughs> might be at fucking 48 right yeah, now. Yeah. 